Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to be playing the highest skill deck in Clash Royale. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. In my opinion, this is the perfect deck to play if you're looking to improve at the game. There's a lot of very key micro interactions that like you need to learn. A lot of like tornado tech and just like a lot of like amazing defenses that you can pull off with this deck. And I feel like a lot of the time, this deck will only work if you're very good at it. So there's not a bunch of room for error, meaning that like it will really help you improve because if you lose, I mean, if you make any mistakes, you're just going to lose. So I feel like if you're looking to improve at the game in a general basis, this is a very good deck to learn. What's for the E-barbs in the back here? I'll just cycle my bomb tower. I feel like the main thing I see people doing wrong with this deck is they go too aggressive with their magic archer or they're not aggressive enough. There's kind of like a sweet spot, which I'll like try to show in this video. I'll just go for wall break this year to pull back the E-barbs. Wall breakers are very important in this deck. Most of your defenses will come from fighting with wall breakers. He messes up the activation. I'll just go for my minor plus spear goblins here just to pressure him. He goes for the lumberjack. I can get a nice king power activation here because when the lumberjack dies, it does drop a rage. So I can just go for my NATO, pull it to the king tower. And even if it doesn't hit it, it won't matter because the rage will pop on it. Nice. I'll just go for my night wall breaker this year and then mining on the pump. He doesn't have Tornado, so he has no way to get my Miner off the pump unless he catches it, but he didn't have Lumberjack or e in hand, so pretty low chance that he would have had anything to catch my Miner. Miner does take out the whole pump, and I take the whole left side tower. Now I can just defend the Phoenix with my Spear Goblins. Oh, he goes e -barbs. Okay, I'll just go for high Spear Gobs here. I'll go for the Tornado as well. I just to Tornado everything upwards. And then I'll go for my Knight down low just to help defend the e -barbs. Very nice defense there. I'll go for my wall breakers as well to kite the phoenix backwards and also get like 9-800 damage on the tower if he ignores them. Okay, I'm down 6 elixir, but if I play really good, I can defend. This is what I mean with the like the high skill defenses. It's really hard to defend dragons like air cards in this deck because you only have magic archer and spear goblins. And I'm down a bunch of elixir. It just takes a lot of skill to pull off these defenses. I'll go for the defensive miner here on top of the golem and to distract the lumberjack. I'll go for the log as well, help finish off the lumberjack. I'll go for my low spears, high knight. He's gonna keep spamming me. I'll go for a second bomb tower. I'll also go for a second NATO here, just to uh, group, group everything together, and I'll kite it backwards with my wall breakers. I'll go for my another set of spear goblins here, and then I'll just go for my knight, and that's a very clean defense. Wow, I only took like 100 damage on that defense. That was so clean. I'll just go for my log here to kill the phoenix egg and GG. <laughs> That's why I find this deck a lot of fun as well, just because it can really like highlight how good you are at the game sometimes, not to like sound egotistical or anything, but very nice win there against that guy. He barely got any damage when I was down 6 elixir, and I didn't really have that great of a matchup either. I'm in the next game here against this guy. I will say that I think the most important thing about this deck is getting your King Tower activated. King Tower activation is very important with this deck, it's kind of like the core of all your defenses. All of your defenses become possible or much easier through the King Tower activation. I'll just go for my Magic Archer here on the Spear Goblin Hut. Spear Goblin Hut is so annoying. Always nice to take it out with like a Magic Archer. Okay, I'll go for my Knight. Oops, I misclick my Knight. At least the Goblin Hut is pretty much dead. I'll go for my Spear Goblins here as well, just to kill his Spear Goblins. He goes for the Skeleton King. That wasn't really that great of a Skeleton King. I'll just go for my Bomb Tower on defense here. Bomb tower is super important on defense. All of your defenses will usually have a, a bomb tower. I'll go for my log here and I'll go for my magic archer. It's always important to put your magic archer behind your king tower when you're trying to defend a graveyard. Just because it has the highest chance to hit the most amount of skeletons at one time. He does have to defend my magic archer. He'll probably poison. Yeah, he just does go for the poison there. This graveyard deck is super popular now if you guys have pro probably noticed. Everyone's playing it in ladder and grand challenges. I think I'll just go for a minor wall breaker here on the left side. I want him to use his goblins because if he uses his goblins, then I can activate my king tower. Okay, that's going to hit the, um, the spear goblin hut. I'll just go for my knight here to block the spear goblins. He spent seven elixir there, so he could go for a graveyard. Actually, he doesn't have it in cycle. I'm going to activate my king tower here with the goblins. Nice. And I won. Let's go. <laughs> Most people don't even know that you can activate the king tower off of goblins. So... Now that now this guy can't really do anything because I have my King Tower activated, I'll just go for my Magic Archer here just to finish off the Rascals. Very nice Magic Archer there. I'll go for my Log as well just to hit back the Bar Barrel. It's always important to activate your King Tower against Graveyard, especially. This deck doesn't have really anything you can activate your King Tower off of other than the Goblin, so it's really good to get that activation there. 
I'll just go for my spear goblins behind my tower, and then I'll go for my knight in the middle. He's probably gonna just try to poison these out. Yeah, I'll go for my minor plus my wall breakers here, just because I don't want him to go into the graveyard. You always want to pressure while you're defending. Oh, nice! I get one connection there with that wall breaker. I'll just go for a log here to finish off these goblins and spear goblins. This deck is really like good at spamming your opponent. I'll just go for my knight at the bridge here. I'll wait for the bar barrel to die, and then okay, I'll go for Mad Scarf here just to swipe down the spear goblin hunt, and then I'll go for my minor plus wall breakers. You can be super aggressive with this deck. Wait, I'm gonna tornado back the Phoenix, have the Phoenix line up onto the tower. Perfect. The Phoenix, <laughs> nice. My magic guard just got like five hits on the tower. I'll go for my log here. That's a huge log. Oh my god, that was so satisfying. I'm gonna go for my spear goblins and my knight here. After the spear goblins buff, the spear goblins are super good in this deck over like the skeletons it used to have. I'll go for my minor plus wall breakers and I'll log here so you can go for it with goblins. Nice. That was such a nice free log, and that's gonna be game. Nice to end the game off with a free log. <laughs> Very nice prediction there to finish off the game. The King Tower activation kind of carried though, because you couldn't really go in for any good graveyards. So that's the only really way to win that is to activate your King Tower. I'm in the next game here against this guy. I'm just going to split my wall breakers here. I feel like the best play is either minor on the tower or split your wall breakers, but there's a lot of good starting plays with this deck, like Spirit Albums at the bridge, you're just cycling your log and stuff like that. I feel like the only really big weakness of this deck is like trying to defend air cards, so I guess Lava Hound. Minor Balloon is super easy though, because you have the Bomb Tower and the Tornado, uh, <laughs> what was that log? <laughs> I'll just go for my Miner here, I do not know what this guy's doing, this guy's gonna be playing 2.6, I'll just go for my Magic Archer, Oh, he caught that, that was really good, at the same time though, I don't know why he didn't just put his cannon on the side, so he didn't have to waste all that elixir, I'm not really complaining though, I'll just go for my log here on the ice golem once it's about to cross the bridge, and then I can kill the cannon, and then I can go for my wolf ball breakers behind and kill so he can use his fireball, because the log won't really counter this. I'm not going to miner here, I'll wait for the fireball. Okay, I'll go for my miner here. I'm not going to spear goblins with this and give him log value, because he's going to probably log the miner. He didn't log the miner, he's going to go for ice golem hog rider. I'll go for my bomb tower here. This matchup is really easy for me, you just have to be pretty patient. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard to break through when they save their Ice Spirit and Skeletons for your Miner, but overall their Hog Rider should never hit your tower because you have Bomb Tower and Tornado to, to fully counter their Hog. It can get like a bit annoying or tricky when they do Ice Golem Hog, but there's ways to stop that, like just having your Bomb Tower for Ice Golem Hog or like Unite on the side to kill the Ice Golem and then Tornado into your King Tower. You just have to be very careful and you will probably never lose this matchup. I'll go for my wall breakers at the bridge on the right side, and then I'll go for my knight to get to my bomb tower. Because I knew he was gonna ice go him with his hog ride, so I wanted to be back to my bomb tower. So I'm gonna need to use my spear goblins on the musketeer as well, but that's fine. My spear goblins are gonna live, so he's gonna have to use something on it. Probably the log. Yeah, he just goes for the log. I'm gonna go for my minor wall breakers. I know he'll cannon, but maybe he could get some minor chip on the tower. Always good to get my minor chip with this deck. Minor and magic arch are usually how you're getting your damage. Wall breakers are usually just to get positive trades and help on defense. I'll go for my knight and my bomb tower here. I haven't really got outcycled yet, which is good. He goes for the fire bullets. 10 elixir though for only 7, and he still has to defend my knight. I'll go for my spear goblins on the left, and we'll also go for my miner here. I always want to switch up the miner spots, so I'll just go for the free log here, hitting the skeletons that were already placed. I'll go for my wall breakers at the bridge, force him to use his cannon or his log. Yeah, he goes for the cannon there. I'll go for my high match guard to just snipe the cannon, then it'll help kill the musketeer afterwards. I'll just knight at the bridge to help kill the musk. I'll go for the miner as well. Okay, he's protecting the musketeer very well. That's gonna kill my match guard here. I'll go for my spear god though, because he did waste his log, and I'll go for my wall breakers. I'll bomb tower on the hog rider. Then I can just counter the musketeer with my knight. Nice. Pretty nice defense there by me. I'll just go for my miner plus log here to try to kill his skeletons. Oh, oh, he caught it. It didn't hit the ice spirit. That's unfortunate. I'll go for my wall breakers. Force him to use his log. Goes for a ice golem on the right. So I'll just go for my bomb tower because I know he's going to hog rider with that as well. Goes for the fireball. I'll just go for my spear gob just to make sure that the hog rider can't get a hit. I'll go for my miner as well. I always just want to keep up the pressure with your miners and stuff like that so they can't like fireball cycle you too hard. I'll go for my wall breakers on the left side so I can get to my bomb tower. I can just bomb tower on the hog. He's going to log, but... I do get some nice chip with my spear goblins. Well, spear goblins on the hog rider and miner. I'm gonna log as soon as I can as well because I know he's gonna be struggling to defend this stuff. Nice. My spear goblins are gonna kill the cannon. Spear goblins are so good. They have a pretty far range now after the buff. I'll go for the wall breakers at the bridge. I don't really have enough to explain anything I'm doing. It's just kind of like straightforward. Um, oh, nice. He messed up the log. I'm gonna get one shot. I'll go for my spear goblins at the bridge too. I'll go for the miner. I'll log. 
I'm gonna wall breakers and then I can just magic archer on the nice goal. He has no fireball in cycle. I think that should be game right now with the magic archer. Oh, nice. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Okay, I'm just gonna go for my spear goblins. I'll go for the miner and my bomb tower on defense. Always want to pressure while defending. I'll go for my knight on the musket here. And I'll just log on the hog rider and I'll magic archer on the cannon, hopefully to finish off the game, maybe. Yes, nice. Let's go. Finally, I finished off the game. It was really hard to finish the game. I'm in the next game here against Viper. This guy played in the CRL 2021 World Finals, so this guy's a super good player. I'll go for my Magic Archer here on the Goblin Hut. It's probably gonna be that stupid Graveyard deck again. Everyone who has Goblin Hut pretty much plays that Graveyard deck. Seems like it's the only deck it's good in, but I feel like Goblin Hut is super broken. Just gonna log to finish off that hut. He's not really doing anything. I'm just gonna go for my Spear Goblins at the bridge. If he doesn't do anything. He might go for the Skelly King Graveyard right now just because I don't have Log, Magic Archer, or Spears, so I'm gonna Miner on the opposite lane just to pressure him a little bit. Ooh, he might go in here. I think he is. I'm gonna go for my Knight, and I'm gonna get my Magic Archer ready, and I'll also go for my Log and Spear Goblins on the graveyard. He went really aggressive there. Okay. At least I didn't really take any damage. Only took a few hundred. I want to bait out his Goblins to try to activate my King Tower, but I don't think he'll fall for that, because he's really good. My other graveyard opponent, he wasn't bad, but... I feel like Viper's a lot bet a lot better than that. I mean, he did play in the World Finals, so. I'll go for my Wall Breakers at the bridge here on the right side. He goes for the Goblin Hut. Hopefully those connect. I think both of them are going to connect. Nice, let's go. I'm going to go for my Knight here on the Goblin Hut. Okay. I think I'm going to go for my Miner. I don't want to play on the left side. Mm -mm. I'm going to Miner, though, on the left side to try to force out something that I could activate with. Okay. I can activate on the Phoenix when it's on the inside tile. I'm gonna bomb tower here on the Skeleton King Phoenix. I'm gonna put it like that to pull in the Phoenix as well to try to activate my King Tower. If he doesn't Graveyard, I'm gonna activate my King Tower. I'll just cycle my Spear Goblins in the right corner just to give myself some time so I don't leak. And then I'll just activate my King Tower off the Phoenix. I have to wait for the Phoenix to the tower first. Tornado now. Nice, let's go. I already won. <laughs> no way I lose with my King Tower activated. I have to play so bad. I'm just gonna go for my Knight in the back here. Okay, nice. Good thing that I didn't Magic Archer. I'll just go for a log here. Very nice log. And then I can just go for my Magic Archer just to help kill the Spear Goblins. Okay, I'll go for the Minor Wall Breakers here. Mm, no need to pre-log or anything because he doesn't have Goblins in Cycle. He goes for the Skelly King. He's gonna Bard Barrel. Nice, I get one connection though. I'll go for my Bomb Tower. He's probably gonna Phoenix, so I can't Magic Archer that. If I had to guess. Yeah, he does go for the Phoenix. I'll just cycle my Spear Goblins here. And I'll go for my... High Knight and I'll Magic Archer behind my King Tower. I can just go for the Log here, kill the Graveyard and kill the Phoenix Egg. Very nice. And the Bomb Tower is helping out on the Skelly King as well. Very nice Bomb Tower there, getting a ton of value. All Minor Wall Breakers here behind my Knight. Just for the Goblins. He has to waste his Spear Goblin Hut on the Wall Breakers, it's perfect for me. Let's go for my Knight at the bridge to keep up the pressure. Probably force out the Barb Barrel. Yeah, force out the Barb Barrel. I'll go for my Spear Goblins here, now we can't really kill them. I'll just Log and then I'll Miner just to keep the pressure up. A Wall Breaker's on the right side. Because I can't keep pushing into like all of his cards because he's gonna keep placing his cards in the back of that lane. I'll just spear goblins here on the graveyard and then I'll go for the early log. And then I'll go for the minor plus wall breakers opposite lane. This deck is so spammy sometimes. Okay, nice. That's gonna kill the Phoenix as well on the left side. The knight, he's gonna have to defend my spear goblins. I'm not gonna knight at the bridge. I'll knight. I'll just gonna I'm just gonna play it passive. I'll magic guards on the goblin hut though. I don't want to let him stack up. I'm gonna knight predict the phoenix. Perfect. I knew that he'd phoenix. I'll go for my Spear Goblins on the Phoenix, and then I'll go for my Minor plus Wall Breakers on the right side. He still has to defend those, or one of them's gonna get a hit. Yeah, forced out that. I'll go for my Bomb Tower on all these Spear Goblins, there's like six of them. And then I can just defend the right side with my Knight. The Bomb Tower should help out as well. I'll go for my Knight, I'll go for my Early Log, and then I'll go for my Spear Goblins very low. I'll go for my Minor on Defense as well. Wouldn't really have enough time to get the Magic Archer lined up properly. Didn't take that much damage, I'm still up by over a thousand. I'll go for my wall breakers at the bridge. Wait, I'm gonna magic archer on the phoenix. I'm gonna log on the barbell to the magic archer level. I'm gonna tornado up the phoenix, keep the marcher on the tower. Nice. Wait, one more. One more, one more. Nice, let's go. <laughs> that magic archer lineup got so much damage. Very good magic archer there. Magic archer is so broken. I'm in the next game here against Gabo. I'm just gonna split my wall breakers here. See what he wants to do. He goes for the tornado. I don't think he messed it up, even though it didn't damage it. I'll just go for my Miner here in the back since he wasted his Tornado. 
<laughs> he just goes for the rage. Not very often you see someone rage a miner. <laughs> um, I'll just log on the tower here. Go see the Dark Prince in the back. Probably gonna be like a weird giant deck, I guess. Not many decks really play with rage. It could be Sparky, actually. It's probably Sparky. Sparky is one of the worst matchups for this deck. You don't really have much to defend with Sparky. I'm gonna go for my wall breakers at the bridge here on the right. He has E drag. I'm gonna go for my miner and the magic archer to try to get it to line up. Okay, I, I messed that up, but I guess it's good to know that I can't really do that. I should have put the miner lower and not hitting the tower and it would have pulled it back. I'm getting a ton of damage though on the left side. He wastes his NATO as well. Perfect. I think I'll just log on the elixir collector here to get to my wall breakers. So then if he golems, I'll be one card off wall breakers and I can knight wall breakers at the bridge to punish his golem. I'm gonna log here. Now I'm back to wall breakers pretty much, because if you golems I'll do knight and then I'll have wall breakers. I think he's gonna golem. Yeah, I'm gonna go for knight wall breakers at the bridge here. I don't think I'll be able to defend, but... Well, maybe I could barely keep my tower with like 5 or 600 HP, but... I'm probably gonna lose my tower, but at least I'm pretty much taking both of his towers so I can win in the two tower game. I'll just go for my bomb tower here and the maximum pull placement. I'll go for the miner here on defense. I use Miner quite a lot on defense with this deck. It's pretty important, I feel like. I'll just go for my Magic Archer here on the Dragons. And then I'll just go for my Knight. Oh, the E-Drag's gonna chain it. That's annoying. I'll Tornado this backwards, but I think I just have to let the tower go at this point. Yeah, I'm gonna let this tower go. I can't do anything about it. I'll just go for Wall Breaker with the bridge on the left. Ooh, my tower is alive on 300. Perfect, okay. And the Wall Breaker connects. I'm gonna go for my Miner on the right side, and I'll go for my Spear Goblins on the left, so he has to make a choice. Oh, he golemed! Okay, he's gonna ignore all of that then. Both sides are gonna be pretty much almost gone. I'm gonna lose my right side tower, but I'm gonna make him work for it. I'll go for the Magic Archer in the back, and I'll go for the Bomb Tower here. Pull the Golem as far as possible. Okay, he goes for the E-Drag down the middle. I'll go for my Knight on it, and I'll go for the Miner on the right, just to finish off the right side tower. His E-Drag does finish me off, but it's okay. Nice, his Lumberjack died. Oh, Wallbreaker's on the left side, just to pressure him while defending, and I'll go for the Magic Arc just to defend that King Tower, and Spear Goblin's on the E-Drag, so the E-Drag doesn't do too much damage. It's only 15 seconds left, he needs to take my tower. Uh, yeah, he's dead. I'm just gonna go for my Bomb Tower here on top of the Golem. Oh, Miner on defense, just to distract. Nice, I caught the Lumberjack. <laughs> and I'll just go for my Log on the Golem and the Lumberjack, and that's gonna be game. Very nice win there. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.